guys, it's been a pretty productive welcome or welcome back to my channel. So we are going to be doing my favorite part of my budget and that's cash stuffing my envelopes. So I just finished filming my May budget setup. So I will definitely post that one before this video, but hopefully I'll get both up today. Just because I'm a little bit behind, I like to have my May setup already done and then cash stuffing as soon as we get paid, which was yesterday. No, Friday. And then to start the new month, which um, will be these envelopes right now. So let's go ahead and get started. So for, and I have my little cheat sheet over here to the side. And this is where I break down my money. Now I will tell you this month, it was a little bit of a challenge because I went to the bank with my little transaction that said how many, every, every denomination I needed. And the banks did not have 50s or 100s in stock. And the manager was very, you know, apologetic. She's like, you know, it's weird. We don't normally go through that many 50s and 100s. Now everybody wants them. And so I took the 20s out. Then I went over to Walmart customer service and asked if they had 100s. They did. So I traded out some 20s. So it was a little bit messy. They didn't have 50s. So, but I think I figured it all out. So let's just go ahead and get started. So for groceries, um, I have 300 in cash and because it is a five week month, I divided the amount of the cash by five weeks. And so it's $60 a week. So that took out the 50 conversation because I didn't have tens. So I am going to do 15 twenties in this envelope. So it's going to make it a little bulky, but it will be easier when I'm like unstuffing the cash. So. Of course, once I got home, my husband was like, you should have asked me. I had hundreds and fifties. I'm like, of course you did. So $300 in groceries. Um, for eating out, it's 250. So I did 10 20s. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10. I did three tens and four fives. And I'm doing it this way because honestly, I spent more time trying to break things up and find change last month. So I think I'm just gonna break it up a little bit more and then should be easier as I'm unstuffing it. So 20, 40, 60, 80, one, 20, 40, 60, 80, two, 10, 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. So should average $50 a week and we all know that uh, that was not my average last month. <laughs> um, $50, I'm doing it the same way. Um, 50 a week for spending, so 250 for the month. And I'm just breaking it down the same way. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 150, 120, 120, 120, 120, 120, 120, 120, 120, and that's only because I like to have ones in my wallet. I can't stand when I don't have any ones in my wallet. Um, so when I get to personal care, I'll have to remember to take out 15 ones instead of 21. 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 40, 60, 80, 2, 10, 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. So 50 right away goes into my wallet. I'm going to do the two twenties, the five ones and a five, put that to the side. I think right now I have four ones in there and that's it. Household is getting, oh, I, I moved that to an online. So we'll skip that one for right now. My mom is going to get a hundred and that is all 20s, 20, 40, 60, 81. Miscellaneous is getting a hundred and I will tell you this is the first time in a long time that I actually used that folder. So I was glad that I had this available because um, I kind of was in the hole <laughs> there for a while. Um, personal care gets 200. And I broke it up as two fifties, 
two twenties, three tens, I'm going to do three fives and fifteen ones. That should be the rest of that. So let's see. So 50, 100, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 75, 80, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 200. So personal care for me for 200 is more than enough. I keep taking my girls with me for pedicures and stuff. So I am over in this category, so they need to pay for their own going forward. <laughs> Entertainment gets 100, and it is going to be all 20s. 20, 40, 60, 81. I have an Entertainment folder, and then I have a volume folder envelope, and I have a date night envelope as well, and I kind of go back and forth between the two. If, if I'm going out with my sisters or my kids, I do entertainment and when I'm with my husband I do date night. Um, back to bank is empty because I use that to do the cash stuffing for this time. Then when we go to what I call my occasion folders, um, so Valentine's Day is empty, anniversary, St. Patrick's Day does have $50 left over, Easter is empty, family barbecue still has 50. This is one I would like to fund with my incremental income. And then when we get to my birthday, it's $60. So currently in my birthday, and I've already filled out the trackers, I started with 340. When I add this 60, it'll be 400. And my goal was 500 by July. So I'm right on track with that. So one, two, 300, 350, 360, 370, 380, 400. And I know I've got a lot of questions on why I fund my own birthday and it's more for going to do things I want to do or if it is a birthday that there's something I really want and it's something I don't want to ask my husband or my kids for, you know, because either it's too expensive or it's something they would think was weird, <laughs> then I go ahead and take it out of there. Um, my husband's birthday, which is not until September, also gets 60 So in his birthday, he has 100, 200, 300, 10, 20, 30, 40. So he should have 340. That's correct. Okay. And then my, put it that way, it's easy. Then my daughter Megan is also a July birthday. So we're kind of on that same path. With this, she should have 400 as well. So I'm going to do 60. So 1, 2, 3, 50, 370, 380, 390, 400. Okay. Again, very messy. The way that's counted. Um, the cars is my daughter, brother in law. Brother in law, hello. My daughter, my son in law. And I'm probably going to have my granddaughter in her own envelope. Um, so with the $100 I'm adding today, they should have 320 So 100 200 320 So my daughter's birthday is October. My son-in-law had a birthday in February, so I took money out then. So I'm kind of rebuilding it back up for my daughter's birthday in October. Family is my sister's and my mom. So my mom's birthday is in September, but the first birthday up is my sister has a birthday. One of my sisters has a birthday in May. So for this one, I am putting in, I think it's 50 is what I decided. So it is 50. So, um... So I had 170, so I should now have 220. So 150, 70, 190, 200, and 220. 
One thing that is nice about reconciling these all before I go to stuff them is I know where it should be and if it's not where it, I think it is, then I either missed taking a transaction out or I um, didn't write down when I had funded it. So nieces and nephews are really my nieces and nephews kids. Um, and so we do celebrate all of their birthdays, which there's a ton of them now. <laughs> And so for this one, I am adding in 50 and I'm doing two 20s and a 10. They're kind of at the age where they like to have money, um, which makes it so much easier on both myself and their parents to try to come up with ideas. So let me just sort this a little bit. So I keep this kind of broken up because it, it's a little bit easier to, you know, I get them a little gift and then usually put money in. And that seems to be working right now. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 65, 70, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79. Okay. And then Liam and Milo are my daughter's dogs and I emptied this out buying his food. Um, and so I gotta put 50 back in, so I'm gonna do two 20s and what did I say? Two 20s and two fives because I do take him to get his nails cut and it's $20 plus tips. So I like to have a little that broken down. Okay, and then the last one is date night and that's in here. Nope, oh, that's not the last one. So date night is it's seventeen dollars and I'm adding seventy. Twenty, forty, sixty, seventy. So now there is 20, 40, 60, 70, 75, 80, 85, 86, 87. So $87. And then if you've watched my last video, you know that I kind of got uh, stumbled up with $203. So um, that should have been an online transfer. So this 60 goes where? Okay, let me just take a moment here and see if I'm... This goes into household. Okay. Actually, I'm going to put it into this household. So I have an online account that is like my weekly cash envelopes and then I have what I call my sinking fund but because this is empty I'm going to go ahead and put the 60 in here and I'll update that tracker so I think that is everything hopefully I don't forget anything um but that should do it and then next week I will do two things I will unstuff the money that I spent on my card to put in the back to bank and then I will also do a cash stuffing for my incremental income and where that's going to go. So stay tuned for that. Uh, again, please let me know if you have any questions. I hope you are doing great on your budget. And I'm hoping and praying for a much better month <laughs> this month on my budget. So thank you so much for watching and have a great week.